There you are. I've got something for you. Nice work on those SAM sites. We've pulled the tiger's tail now. Got the helo ready to go. Call it in when ready. We got incoming. Iraqi forces converging on our position. Time to put your helicopter to attack. Call it in. Chainsaw 3 2 inbound.
going down. We'll hold the area. Be quick about it. Hostiles inside. Hostiles taking control. We're clear. Let's go. Better be it. Really make you work for it, don't they? Good God. Saddam's hoarding millions down here. Hell, this gold toilet's worth that much. We trade it all for a WMT. We're close. as a goddamn biological weapon. And they put this in Saddam's hands, too? A sample of it, based on what I'm seeing in here. What'd you find? A disc. Some notes, all in Russian. Project's headed by Matvi Gusev. Sounds like you know him. I recognize the name. Gusev was a scientist in the Soviet Union's biological weapons program, Biopreparat. Intelligence had him fleeing Russia last year. Then he vanished. Gusev gave the Pantheon a Soviet bioweapon? No. According to this, the cradle came from somewhere else. A research facility I'm familiar with. It's American. 
American. All right, visiting time's over, you three. We need your help up here. Head to top side. Let's move. Get what you wanted. Not exactly, but we got what we needed. We need to clear a pickup zone. Let's get to the palace rooftop.
Tatian has a biological weapon. The papers we found in that bunker, they had a name attached. Matt V. Goosey, a Soviet weapons scientist. We think he's still in Iraq, somewhere. Atlas volunteered to stay behind and track his ass down. I'll have Felix examine the disc we found while the rest of us investigate the origin of the cradle. If Adler's right, this thing may have come from a research facility on U.S. soil. A Soviet scientist and an American bioweapon. What the hell are we getting into? You've asked Tara about this supposed research facility. She's not picking up. I told her to look into Livingston. You think something's happened to her? If it has, it's my fault. The weight of the world on your shoulders. We know the risks. Yeah, well, this isn't exactly what I imagined. Because it's not just about you. How'd you feel about coming with me and Kay stateside? I'd consider it. <laughs> Felix still in the kitchen. Don't complain. We ate well while you were off wandering the desert. <laughs> he should be decrypting the disc Adler found. We need whatever's on it. Hey, Chef, you cracked that disc yet? <sighs> Patience, please. Cryptography is like preparing pufferfish. Rush through it and risk losing everything. Okay. Is he planning to serve us pufferfish? Hey, you said no complaining. I did, didn't I? Let me know when we're close to Need something before we go? What? Over the Iraq thing? Please. Not worth the energy. Contrary to Marshall's manly sensibilities, I could have helped. But you made it back alive, so... A very long ten miles down the mountain. To the nearest town. Rustic, you might call it. Place was depressing. But I hate having nothing to do, and I wasn't keen on being cooped up here with woods. Oh, that's not fair. I need to generate revenue case. Taking down Avalon's crime factions isn't cheap. Don't get me wrong. You have a noble pursuit. But it isn't my fight. I'm not American. Don't have a misguided sense of patriotism like Marshall over there. Adler's only interested in whatever connections Avalon has to the Pantheon, if any. He could care less about my own mission, or anyone else's for that matter. Don't expect any bleeding heart behavior from him. Stay strong. I'm afraid I'll need a little more time. Unless you've come to help. Yet to be determined. I found these cookbooks in storage, but I'm afraid my Cyrillic skills are not as sharp as they once were. 
and I am working with ingredients that I could hunt and forage from the surrounding area. So, let's call it a stew, shall we? Uh -huh. I see. Because I no longer desire to take a human life, you believe my heart bleeds for all creatures. It's an understandable assumption. However, these are very different circumstances. To hunt mm, is to be in symbiosis with nature. To take a life without due cause is parasitical. Society is a predatory structure. Those with power, whether legitimate or otherwise, prey on those without and use thugs, uniformed as I once was, or otherwise, to enforce their rule. The Stasi, CIA, organized crime in Avalon, most assuredly Pantheon, all are institutions of oppression. I bloodied my hands, burdened my soul with complicity, and now I live in shame. Never again. I cannot say. I think that makes us a necessary evil. Perhaps this is why I prefer computer systems. One's and zeros. However, binary thinking is not conducive to modern existence. Social systems are complex webs. I think we can only navigate the gray and hope that history views us favorably. Whatever it contains is locked behind some rather impressive encryption. I was able to write a program to decrypt it, but the truth is, I am stumbling in the dark at best. Not so much picking the lock as drilling through the tumblers. Hmm. Considering where you found it, the logical assumption is that it holds data pertaining to a weaponized biological agent. Or pornography. Feel free to come by the kitchen later. Might need a test subject. Hey, do me a favor and check on Felix, will you? We'll bust out of here soon. Everything's on the board when you're ready. Not in the mood right now. Hmm. Save it, Case. Nope.
can't save the KGB operatives that lived and worked here in the 1960s took orders directly from Nikita Dragovich. The Soviet capital that Alex Mason and Jason Hudson terminated. Adler believed the Pantheon gained access to a military research facility called Advanced Technologies and Applications. Sounds impressive. Located in eastern Kentucky, the building is marked as cost for solutions on the surface. Underneath, there's a whole different story. This place looks pretty remote. Nothing but forests and hills. We should park a few miles out, hike the rest of the way in. Once we're inside, our target is the biotechnology one. Adler thinks that's where the cradle may have come from. We need some answers on what this thing does. Didn't you say Adler worked there at some point? Briefly. About ten years ago. He mentioned unusual classified programs there using human subjects. Then suddenly the place was shut down and quarantined after a biohazard incident. The cradle. It's sure looking that way. Seb, how's it going on your side? Still looking for a way in. The north doors are totally sealed. You? Case and I are in South Gate Utility Entrance. Looks like someone's been through here recently. Use the freight elevator. Chain's broken. All right, Matt's going. Your turn. Technology restricted. 
Please see security for access. Limits to patients. I hope you understand. Welcome back, Case. Biotech restricted by Security Access 4. Four director key cards required for entry. Bringing back memories yet? We thought we'd never see this place again. Those are the stairs we want. Don't worry, the cradle can't hurt us anymore. We're special. Special since we first experienced the cradle. Ten years ago. to advanced combat research. ACR employees are reminded that authorized safety equipment must be worn on the testing floor at all times. Case might be having a issue. Radio is out for a while now. Case, are you getting any of this?
for technical support. If you've made it to advanced combat research, you must have friends in high places. And they probably got there using one of the most cutting edge tools in development. Direction activated.
Springer mentioned this already, but we're moving you to 24-hour observation. Restraints may be necessary at times as well. I, I sincerely apologize. Uh, just until we understand these recent behavioral changes. Safety is our top priority. Please evacuate administration immediately. We documented the making of a cradle here. They used to take their reports to the director. Now it's up to us. Maybe he'll give us his key card in return. We'll find the missing reports for him.
key card. Two left to find. Only a few know the origins of the Pantheon case. They were a CIA branch, unknown to even the other Black Ops divisions. They developed the Cradle. A new generation of operatives would be born of it. Accepted. Airflow redirection activated. something important inside that bathysphere case. There it is. Control room access gate opened. <laughs> 